Hey there, I'm Chani and you're watching The Art of Science. Isn't this interesting? In today's video, we are going to understand the scientific principle behind this magic. Convection. But before that, we have to understand what happens to air and water under temperature changes. As the molecules heat, they move faster, resulting in them moving apart. So air and water, like most other substances, expand when heated. Because there is more space between the molecules, the fluid is now less dense than the surrounding matter. So the hot air flows upwards. Warm air rises. This simple principle helps hot air balloons to fly. You can see it here as well that the hot water moves down the tissue much faster because the molecules of hot water have more kinetic energy. You can observe the temperature and density relationship in this experiment as well. These glasses contain hot and cold water. On giving them a tiny opening, the hot water, being less dense, travels upwards to float on top of the cold water. I have linked this DIY video up here and in the description box as well. The same applies in this super cool fire tornado as well. As the air gets heated up due to the fire, it starts rising. When we rotate the platform, the air entering from this net starts spinning too. These rotating air molecules collide with the rising hot air resulting in this twisting fire visual. Before we dive into convection, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Convection is the process of heat transfer by the bulk movement of molecules within the fluids. Let's look at an experiment to understand this. The water in this tank is at room temperature. Now, we'll place this flask that has warm water with orange food coloring. You'll notice that the water quickly starts rising upwards. And this happens because, as we saw earlier, density decreases with an increase in temperature. So now, the warm water starts flowing upwards. Heat is a form of energy. You'll notice that if you leave a cup of hot tea or coffee outside, it eventually gets cold. And this happens due to transfer of heat. Heat transfer happens either by conduction, convection or radiation. Conduction involves the transfer of heat through physical contact. For example, the heating of a spoon in a cup of hot milk. Radiation, on the other hand, involves transfer of heat through electromagnetic waves. Finally, convection mode of heat transfer involves transfer of thermal energy through the mass movement of a liquid or gas. We keep a block of ice. The molecules come in contact with the ice, become heavier, become denser and then sink downwards. Convection is a cyclic process. We can also observe this in nature. Hot air carrying water vapour rises and then it cools down to form clouds. Or if you keep a vessel of water on the stove, the water at the bottom will get heated and it will rise above, displacing the cold water on top. By the time the temperature of this water drops, the displaced cold water which is now in the bottom gets heated and rises up, thus continuing the cyclic process of convection. If you have any doubts, let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next week.